What's up guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. I am, we'll say excited about playing a high alert deck. Uh, so, uh, if you haven't seen high alert, it's been around, it was played with a lot, uh, when it was first, uh, brought up, whoops, which it's a, it's a pretty jank card. So it essentially, uh, while I, there we go. Uh, essentially, it switches your power and toughness, so it deals all of your damage based on the toughness rather than your power. And then any creature that you have can attack, even if it had Defender. Uh, and then, of course, you can untap creatures with it as well. So, this is just a really silly deck based off of, like, Walls, uh, and then High Alert. And that's pretty much it. So, uh, we have in our one-drop slot... Uh, zero four yoked ox. Uh, zero four wall of runes. Now this does also give us a scry one, which is quite nice. Zero three the grazer. Uh, this is a card that actually, I mean, it sees some standard play anyway. It lets you put lands on the battlefield, so it ramps you into the good stuff, which is great. And then of course gilded goose, an amazing card for this deck. Uh, not only does it have flying uh, and that two toughness, which is very good for this deck, but you also get to spit out food tokens. Hopefully ramp into the high alert. Uh, or just use those food tokens to gain a little bit of life back. Now, ideally, we're not going to have to deal with a whole lot of the low ground creatures because we have so many defenders that, ideally, that's not our issue. Uh, certainly, this deck has its issues. My guess is that's probably not going to be the big one. Uh, we do have Fae of Wishes here, another flyer with a lot of toughness, so it's a very good card for this deck. But it also lets us play cards out of our sideboard, which we'll get to in just a second. Uh, tower defense is kind of a way to end the game very, very quickly for only two mana. Uh, you swing in with your defenders, assuming you have high alert out, and then for two mana you get to add plus five to all of them, uh, which is insane. Uh, they also gain reach. You can use this as a defensive card as well, which is quite good. Uh, Deputy at Attention. This deck is, like, made for this, uh, solely because it is that 1-3, so it has that powerful, uh, toughness, but it also gets permanence off the battlefield, which is really, really good. Uh, Banishing Light plays a similar role, but obviously not on a creature. We already talked about High Alert, and Hwatli essentially does a very similar thing, uh, and it also provides us with some life gain, which is great. Uh, the last card here is a 1-of Precognitive Perception, uh, which just allows us to draw some cards. Uh, and then if we do it during our main phase, we get to scry th three, then draw three. Uh, we do run 23 lands in this. We've got the blue Castle Vantress and the white Castle Ardenvale. Uh, the normal assortment of shock lands and then two Temple of Plenty as well as two Temple of Mystery. Now I mentioned we have Fae of Wishes, so that does open us up to some sideboard possibility. Uh, here we have Shadow Sphere as a way to not only trample through some damage, but also give ourselves some lifelink. Gets around Hexproof as well on the opponent's side, so really, really good at dealing with a lot of different things. Devout Decree, obviously great against black or red uh, decks just in general. Uh, it's very efficient, deals with a creature or a planeswalker, and then scries one. Uh, Aether Gust, a very similar card for red or green matchups. It gives us a way to, uh, you know, kind of slow them down in a tempo-y kind of game. Uh, Return to Nature is a really good kind of efficient way to deal with artifacts, enchantments, or exiling a card in the opponent's graveyard. So Croxa and Uro are running around running rampant, and so this is just a really good way to kind of get those out of the way uh, as quickly as possible. We have a third Banishing Light here. We have a Mystical Dispute as a way to counter. Uh, we have a third Hwatli as well. Uh, Vivian Arkvo Ranger is a way to, uh, again, give your creatures trample is really the big one here. Uh, it gives you a way to power through a lot of that damage if your opponent just sits there and blocks all day. Uh, Tamiyo, Collector of Tales, a way to bring back some stuff from the graveyard. Uh, it also has has its uses against things like discard decks and stuff like that. Uh, and it gets around sacrificing permanents. Um, Elspeth Conquers Death, a very efficient removal spell, also brings a creature back, which is great. Uh, a second precognitive uh, perception for that card draw. Anissa, who shakes the world, uh, as a way to kind of provide an alternate win con. This card, if your high alerts all lose, it doesn't matter, you've got Nissa. So that's kind of the reason that's there. Uh, Return of the Wild Speaker, kind of similar to um, the tower defense here. Uh, it's really not great uh, in terms of drawing cards in this deck, from my understanding. Could be wrong, uh, but it does give all your stuff plus three, plus three, which is great. Time Wipe, a way to sweep the board. And then Flood of Tears, essentially a same, uh, similar thing as Time Wipe, you just bounce it all. So, uh, does a lot of stuff. We will see. This deck is, uh, it's a silly one. We're gonna try it. We're gonna have fun with it. That's the goal, right? Like, 
we're just gonna have some fun. So let's jump in. I have not played with this deck yet, so uh, this is gonna be a first for me. <clears throat> I have played some high alert decks before, but it's been quite a while. Uh, again, they fell out of popularity pretty quick because, I mean, the reality is they're not that good, but we're gonna have fun with it, so I'm excited. <laughs> Uh, hopefully you guys <clears throat> are staying safe and you had a good weekend, uh, Easter weekend. Got to spend some time with family maybe, uh, have an interesting time there, but, uh, let's see. Yeah, we're going to keep this. This is very, just great. Uh, <laughs> if we're up against a creature deck, like, we're good, because we just block it all with this. Um, but I don't have high hopes for this. We may find ourselves losing all the games, and that's fine. Uh, it does not matter. This is solely just because I think it's going to be a fun deck. Uh, but yes, hopefully you guys all had a fantastic weekend and uh, got to spend some time with family. Hopefully everybody is staying safe as well. Uh, I know we uh, it, were in South Carolina. We actually had the East Coast just in general got wiped by a, uh, a major storm last last evening and... Uh, we, uh, we were out of power, that's why this video is probably going to be a little bit later than normal. Uh, we were out of power until uh, midway through this morning, but then we didn't have internet uh, until late this afternoon, so uh, it's been a bit of a, a tricky day for us, but uh, we're making our way through. Um, we'll just go play this, and we'll play a Gilded Goose. <laughs> Can't do too much else. Unfortunately, until we get the higher alert or the Watley, we can't really do anything. So we're just doing the most. We are not going to send a message <laughs> uh, in case they are uh, mono red and they're just going to swing in. Interesting. Man, they are flooded, I assume? They have to be, right? Let's do this. Let's go ahead and get this down. Play our land. And we'll pass. See what they do. Oh man. Four lands and no plays. That's very weird. Well, there you go. Okay. Yep, makes sense. <laughs> I mean, we're just going to deputy a detention. <laughs> um, and yeah, we'll play a Yoke Dox. Why not? I mean, when we get a high alert, we're going to be set. So, you know, that's fine. <laughs> uh, interesting. Normally don't see that. That's cool. All right, let's get a scry out here. Let's let's get something going. I'm not gonna swing in with a deputy here. Um, if they have a shock or any two mana damage or two damage spell, I'm not gonna risk it. Um, this coming turn, we will get to uh, throw another throw another food out there, which is gonna be helpful. So what could this be? It could just be Embercleave, which is like not the worst thing in the world. I'm just gonna do this. Oops. Yep. That's fine. <laughs> this is such a silly deck. This is ridiculous. Ah, huh, okay. Do we try and save our Grazer here? I don't think so, right? Like, it's just not worth it. Let's go ahead and get ourselves another food token here. I think we'll actually go ahead and sacrifice one uh, to gain ourselves some life. That is certainly not what we're ex hoping to see. Um... Here, I'm gonna go ahead and swing in with the deputy. Ping him for one. Love it. Uh, this coming turn, 
we're in a bit of a tricky spot. We don't want to lose too many creatures here uh, because, again, we're drawing towards that high alert. If we can get a high alert, we're, we're in, you know, amazing shape. Uh, but if we don't, obviously not so good. So we'll we'll see what we can get here. Let's see. Go ahead and pass. Resolve that. Let's do this. Well, no. Let's actually... Let's do that. We're going to take a hit here, which is certainly not ideal, uh, but it's obviously kind of not the worst thing in the world either. We'll go ahead and do this, and do this. I just don't want to lose too many creatures here. I'd much rather be able to uh, get some of these guys down. Castle Ardenvale kind of doesn't help at all. Um, <clears throat> I mean, we pass. <laughs> this is the silly part about this deck. You just don't do anything for so long. Um, yeah. Go for it. <clears throat> Can we pull out a win with this deck? Something tells me probably not, but that's fine. We have like a million defenses, which is kind of sweet. Um, we're gonna block there. We're gonna block there. And we're gonna block there. Again, I'm okay to take this hit. It's not. I mean, it sucks. We're we're down to it, but we're we're saving ourselves some uh, some time here. If we can get that high alert, I feel like we're we're okay. They have a shock. They can get rid of the Gilded Goose, yeah, okay. Well, that's certainly a drawback for us. Not very helpful. Um, I mean, it does keep us alive, but there we go. We do have high alert. Okay, let's pass. I'm really, really glad we've not been blocking with this deputy here. Um, that could, uh, we could have lost that and we would have been taking so much more damage uh, if we hadn't have, or if we had done that. So very, very glad. Spit out our token. We'll have that token block the spitter. Uh, since that's the thing that's going to be dealing us more damage. Block there. Block there. We'll block there too this time. Uh, we need to stay out of range of a burn spell, so I do think this is uh, the right play at this point. Why would you... You have to sacrifice one. That doesn't seem smart, but I guess they're just playing it to play it. Oh, I see. Just to kill the token? I mean, sure. <laughs> I mean... We, we win. <laughs> that was so stupid. Okay, well, you see how the deck works. Um, <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, okay, well, that was the goal. We did what the deck is supposed to do, so let's let's run it back for two more. This is so silly. Uh, I love, like, jank decks like this. They just are so fun when they work. Obviously, they don't a lot of the time, but it's fun. It's all about having fun, so. Um... Also, really quick while we're jumping into this game, uh, if if anybody has not already uh, looked into, we're keeping this by the way, 
looked into our Patreon. Uh, I mention it pretty much every video. I certainly suggest you check it out. If you're interested, please don't feel like you have to. Um, but if you're interested in supporting what we do, Patreon's a really, really great way to do it. Uh, and we do have our, our rewards down below the logo. Uh, all of them are there. Those are the ones for this month. So if you're interested in picking any of those up, you certainly can. Uh, we, again, would certainly appreciate any and all support. So uh, anything you would like to do there is more than welcome. Um, let's do this and let's get high alert down. Let's go for it, people. I imagine this turn's gonna be somewhat interesting, but they do only have two mana, so like Bone Crusher isn't gonna do it. Huh. Season of Growth in an adventure deck? I. Okay. Um. Don't normally see that. I'm gonna go ahead and play this out here. Yes, we will keep you. Uh, let's go ahead and attack. Let's get this out there. I'm gonna keep that on top again. Um, and then we're gonna play a Yoke Dogs. All right. Well, they're gonna have to do something. <laughs> this is very silly. If this works again, this is one of those decks that you just really don't expect to work, so it's cool that it is. Um, so next turn we have Fae of Wishes, which can do quite a lot, actually. Another Season of Growth. Okay, this is not the deck I thought it was. I mean, I was expecting Teamer Adventures. That's usually what it is when you see the Innkeeper. So, a little surprising there, uh, but that's okay. We'll have to see what we want to actually pull out, though. I'm not 100% sure what the the right call is. Uh, in terms of with the Fae of Wishes, I should say. Like, here they didn't even leave up Bone Crusher, so they couldn't even, like, block here and then Bone Crusher it. Like, there's... I mean, they can shock it, but if they're shocking, I'm not... I don't really care if it's a shock. Like, that's fine. Ah, Okay. I mean, that's interesting. It still dies. <laughs> um, let's Fae of Wishes, and let's see what we should get. I honestly don't know. Um, like, <sighs> might just be this. Yeah, I'm going to pull that. We need to get uh, card draw going so we can just finish out this game quick. Um, sweepers, they do have the option of like uh, the red deal for to everything. They can certainly do that, but that again, drawing cards seems like the way to go. And then we of course have this flyer coming out next turn. So like, uh, well, either the flyer or the perception. So like, not too concerned uh, unless they can deal with both creatures. Which hey, maybe they can. What really feels bad though is like they just traded an innkeeper and an infuriate for a wall of runes. <laughs> I love it. This is just pretty cool, you know? <laughs> Scribe to the top. That's good to know. Let's play land. I'm going in swinging. I mean, there's no reason not to. They can trade this off, that's fine. They have another Infuriate, like, it's pretty good. Sure. Oh, but they killed themselves. Oh, that was hilarious. They killed themselves. Okay! High alert worked. I forgot when you target Bone Crusher Giant, you deal two damage to wh whoever targeted it. So <laughs> that worked out. Um, <laughs> this is like surprisingly very fun. Um, hey, let's go open this pack really quick. I'm in a good mood, guys. This is a fun day.
I'm feeling a lot better today too. Uh, if you watched yesterday's video, I was feeling like absolute crap. Um, my my allergies are killing me lately. Uh, it's been bad here, so uh, excited that I'm feeling a little bit better today and really in the mood to record. I'm enjoying this a lot. All right, last game. Let's see if we can do this, guys. Let's get a 3-0 with high alert. Let's see if we can do it. Uh man, I wish we had one more land. I would I mean, I think we keep this, but one more land would have been absolutely perfect. Uh we do have 23 lands, so a decent land count. My assumption is we'll be able to draw one before we need it. And there we go. Okay. So, let's go ahead and do this. Let's drop this out there and get Hallow Fountain down. Uh next turn Depending on what they do, we can high alert. Okay, yeah, we're definitely gonna high alert then. Get this out there. Just to get ourselves in for the attack. We'll see what they do this turn, but if they play any permanent, we've got options, right? And that's a pretty good one. I can no longer stand by and watch. Enough, that's more like it. That feels bad to bounce an arboreal grazer. Just wanna point that out. Um, okay. Let's deputy. Get our scry going. Actually, don't think we want that. Um, I think we're kind of in the mood for lands at the moment. <clears throat> they are a Teferi deck, so that's going to be interesting. Let's get land out. Let's go ahead and attack here. I'm gonna play the Grazer. And I'm gonna play the Ox. So this way they're gonna have to sweep um, if they want to really keep themselves in it. Um, and they may, That that's fine if they do. Um, we have the Fey of Wishes, so I'm not significantly worried about that. Yep. So they get their Teferi back, they can bounce the High Alert. Uh, but we still have Banishing Light in our hand to deal with, uh, Teferi. Castle, that's quite good. Let's get High Alert back. And we'll just go ahead and Banishing Light on Teferi. This is the deck I'm most worried about, solely because if they've got, like, Dream Trawler, for instance, like, there's very little we can do about Dream Trawler. They have a Grazer? Really? Interesting. This does only count for creatures we control, which is obviously worth noting here. Karn. Karn, Karn. Some solutions must be built. Hmm. I think we take Banishing Light, and we'll just play the Fey here. I'm guessing they're gonna pull something pretty sick here, though, with Karn. Um, let's do that. Let's attack Karn here. They do get to block with the Grazer. Pretty good. Will not 
I think I have to get rid of this. I think I'm gonna go ahead and play this other Fey here. This is a bit of a tricky one. We'll see what they do this turn. If they've got a uh, a sweeper, I think we're we're done. They don't though, they do have just an Uro. I'll protect you. Nissa, okay. This is a pretty sweet Bant deck. Um, these Planeswalker control decks are very, very good for sure. Deputy of Detention. That's kind of helpful here. Um, so let's see. We can do eight to them in the air. They're going to gain three from the Uro most likely, right? They've only got six in their graveyard. They need five. Yeah, okay. So... Get rid of Nissa, just so we don't have to worry about that. Steal two here, four here. And we get to leave up the untap here. Now they're gonna get something back. Probably just the corn, right? Yeah. Maybe that was a bad choice then to kill that. Um, hmm. It's a tricky game. Kind of hope they swing in here just so we can untap Faye. <clears throat> wow. Okay. It's a sweet one. We do have to crew it though, right? Yeah. Grazer, huh? Mm hmm. Get rid of both of those. No, no, yes. Okay. Tower defense. That's pretty good. Um, I'm just worried that they're going to have a sweeper, but I think we just kind of have to go for this. Um, ooh, this is a tricky game. I guess we didn't have to play all of them though, right? So five, not, yeah, we didn't necessarily have to do that. I mean, we might have it. We'll we'll see. They didn't sweep, which is a good sign. Sure, they get Uro. Uro doesn't block, though. Uh, not everything. I mean, it blocks some things, obviously. But we're going to get a really big swing in here. Evil cannot withstand a righteous army. Ugh. That's so good. That interaction is very cool. We literally had to block there, so.
That's not going to be good enough, though. They get their missile back. Yeah, and they got it. Ah, oh, man. That was a cool game. Uh, <clears throat> unfortunately, we could not get through that uh, Parhelion 2. That's such a strong card. Never have actually played up against that card, so it was actually really sweet to see. But still, 2-1, two, two and one, not bad for a high alert deck. Like, just saying, it could have been a lot worse. So I'm actually really, really happy with this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, this was a really, really fun one. We are going to go through another video, of course. So hopefully that'll be up tomorrow for all of you guys. Please make sure to check out our links. Our website is itresolvesmtg.com. Uh, we do post all of our proxies, articles, videos, things like that over there. Excuse me. Uh, we also have our Patreon and our Instagram down there as well. So, as always, please check those out. But uh, thank you guys seriously for watching. Really, really enjoy this. If you've got a deck suggestion, leave it in the comments. But uh, until the next video, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.